What is going on my peeps, your boy Versatile is back with another video, back with a special video about Samsung's daily board. Yes, I did this video for the Tab S4, but I didn't do it to the best of my ability, so I kind of find this as a redux or a retcon, as you could say, in, a, in my second take and a better take at what the daily board is for the Samsung tablet devices. Now, for me, I do not have the charging dock for the Tab S6 yet, so my auto daily board will not turn on but i do have it plugged into a charger so what i can do to actually access it is when i go down to my or swipe down for my notifications you'll see once i get rid of that stuff right here you'll see it's right there tap here for or to start daily board but before we do we're going to go into settings and actually look at the settings for the daily board so once we're in here just easily search for it, which i already did for you guys click on daily board you'll be able to access daily board in advanced features as you guys see it kind of highlighted itself there so once you click on daily board it gives you all the options that you can deal with such as slideshow time weather and calendar memo music auto start turn off as scheduled and then about daily board to check for like updates for the actual individual feature so the first thing we're going to show or talk about here is slideshow we click on slideshow it allows you to come here and select what you actually want to use as the slideshow or the pictures that it will rotate through so you guys see you get selected albums order transition speed slideshow style and then along with showing and sliding between each picture you can have your clock and weather overlaid on top of that so when we click on selected albums you'll see i have two albums selected i have wallpapers and daily board now, when we go to order, you can change the order from first to last to shuffle. I prefer shuffle, so actually it varies what pictures I get while it's displaying on the daily board. And you can change your transition speed. Now, I like mine slow to really grasp each picture as it transitions through them. And of course, you go slow, normal, or fast. And then the style is pan and zoom, zoom and fade, and picture mosaic. Now, I can actually demonstrate to you all three of these type of different slideshow styles within Daily Board itself. Now, and then I said you can have your clock and weather overlay. Now, as we swipe back out of that, time, weather, and calendar, you can actually pick what you want it to kind of look like. You can have it look like this. <clears throat> the layout would be like this. You get either or layout here with the weather displayed all in one spot. And if you want, you could do this one where that's your layout there and you i guess you would pretty much swipe between each page to access it i have mine on all in one page you can show your today's schedule so as long as it has access to your calendar it'll show you any upcoming events on that calendar as well and you can have a night theme for the daily board so right now as you see here it's displayed in white of course or daytime well night theme will actually darken that and then the font will go you know white now if we swipe back again we see memo you can actually swipe to the right and I'll demonstrate that from the calendar page of the daily board to actually write a memo for yourself you can access music and then again you can have it auto start when you pogo dock it or turn and have a schedule turn off for the daily board me I just when I wake up in the morning I'll turn off daily board because I'm taking it off the charger so now that we know all this let's back out actually go on the daily board now so as you guys see, ooh, I got the wallpaper there. And you guys see here, you see my time and weather right here. So if I swipe to the right, that's my calendar. And I have everything displayed there. And I have my, you know, daily schedule right there. And then along with the weather and the clock. And then if I swipe right to, again, that's my memo. And for my memos, don't get take out the trash. So when I swipe back over here to the right, let's say I don't like the pan and zoom. This is pan and zoom on the tablet. Let's say I don't like that. Well, let me actually adjust my camera here because I didn't realize you guys can't see it that well. There we go. So if I want to adjust my, my pan and zoom or the style in which it portrays each picture, I click this little icon right here. And that will allow you to change each slideshow style. So uh, I guess it isn't focusing quite well, but you see pan and zoom, zoom and fade, and picture mosaic. 
now. Let me see if I can adjust this here. All right, this might be a little better. As you see, pan and zoom, zoom and fade, and picture uh, mosaic. So if we switch to zoom and fade, this is what we get now. So now with each picture, it kind of zooms in on it. Now keep note, if you don't have a full wallpaper for your tablet, it's gonna portray the picture in this more smaller frame viewing of the picture's actual size with its blurred out full image behind it. So this is for the zoom. Now, if we wanna back out of that, if we don't like zoom and fade, we go picture mosaic. Now this one looks cool, but it also kinda of likewise does the same thing. For each picture that you have that's not a full picture, a full like desktop style wallpaper for the tablet, it's going to view it in its smaller frame like this. So as you guys can see, it does that, but the animation itself is really cool because it outlines the pictures in different forms and various uh, shapes and zooms in on each one that it sees fit. And you know, if you get a good one that displays full screen, then you're good. And if you don't, then you kind of get that, you get the little box. So for me, even though I like it, I'm going back to pan and zoom. Now, and as you see, pan and zoom looks a whole lot more cleaner. Now, what else can you do from the daily board screen? Well, you see here, it's unlocked. I have my set unlocked when it's secured to a network. And I don't know if I actually showed that in the settings, but if I go to settings, you get all your icons down here. If I go to settings and click on it, as you guys can see here, if I do auto start, yeah, there it is. So in auto start, you have auto unlock. And so for me, I have my auto unlock set to unlock when it's on a secure network that I find secure. So most likely it's probably going to be your home network. And if you have it secured, you can add those Wi-Fi networks and then it will automatically stay unlocked for you until you leave those areas or where you dock your tablet. It will not unlock unless you add that Wi-Fi. So if we want to back out of here and go back to daily board, you have that. So I showed you the memo. I showed you the calendar slide. Now, Remember, one of the options was how to access music. Well, if you want to access music on here, there's an icon up here at the very top. You guys probably see it right there. Now, once this goes a little darker, since I have it on slow, once it goes dark, I'll show you what you can do with that music button. Boy, this is one slow. There we go. So you guys see right up at the top this music icon. Well, if you click on it, play some music in one of these apps to show music on the daily board. So whatever platform that you have downloaded on your tablet, it will give you the option to play music from there. So for the sake of this video, YouTube Music does not have a tablet mode or a landscape mode yet. So I'm gonna use play music. Once you click on play music, it's gonna take you right to play music and boom. So now you get to play music straight from here and play music. You don't have to go and rustle through anything. You can pretty much operate right from the daily board for some simple tasks that you want to take care of or that you want to see or glance at while your tablet is docked or charging. So I thought I'd come back to you guys with a better video, a 2.0 video of the Samsung daily board for the Tab S6. And much of these features is pretty much there for the Tab S4. Uh, there might be one or two that's not, but for the most part, the daily board is unchanged from the tablet. I thought I'd come back to you guys again with a better daily board breakdown for Samsung's tablets. Hopefully you guys appreciate it and enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys use it down in the comments below. If you guys like it, appreciate it. Again, if you guys have any other video ideas uh, for me to do, definitely leave them down. You know, I'll try to do whatever video I can for you guys, but your boy Versal is signing out. And until the next video, look at that beautiful wallpaper right there. Wait for it.